What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general message readings for the month of March 2020, so take what resonates and leave how it does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your storyline because they're for you in mind, you can find all the information on how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, let's get started. This is not a bad spread. So for the basis, we got the, 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 the Page of Cups. The Desires is the Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords is helpful. Queen of Wands is going against you, and the Three of Wands is the outcome. So right off the bat, this is a choices spread and a progress spread. So in the basis, we have a new emotion that is being fostered here. There is an invitation to emotion. Um, the Page of Cups represents somebody coming in and giving you their emotion, somebody that comes in and asks you on a date, or that you are asking them on a date. There's a lot of energy here. I got water. Did I get? I didn't get any earth. I got water, fire, and air. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then in the desires, we got the two of wands in which you have a lot of choices. There's more than one way on which this goes. There is two people in your life. You have the queen of swords and the queen of wands. And I feel like you have to decide where you want this to go with either both of them or one of them. This, you know, if you're into polyamory and this is a relationship kind of spread, it can be, I don't think that this is a polyamory spread, but it could be indicating that you have more than one person that you're dealing with that you want to deal with. Some of you could be, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It just represents a choice of a situation. There is a choice being made between two different people because I feel like somebody is coming in and offering emotion. For, it's, for some of you, it's possible that you might have already had somebody in your life. I don't see this as a cheating spread. I do feel like you are, for the most part, a single Pringle that you desire to know what choice to be made because both of them look pretty good. And the uh, what is going for you is the Queen of Swords, Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so I'm not trying to be biased, but looking at this in this way, it is either that you are dealing with somebody that has, it's either that you're choosing between two people and you need to make a choice on what you want with one of those people, or it is that this person is also this person and they are kind of giving you both um, these energies and it is somebody so it could be for some of you that you're looking um between two people and for others it is that you're looking at one person but needing to make a decision if you want them in your life because they are exhibiting more than one behavior the queen of swords would be their main go-to if i'm reading for this the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius they would be um an air sign individual have it in their chart or ex or display that they are kind of like a badass bitch they know sorrow they know bitterness and they understand pain because they have gone and seen through a lot um, they are good with la la rationale and reasoning and logic, but they can be black and white think they thinking. Their truth is the only truth. In their queen form, their higher self, they are less likely to do this in the page of the night. But they are it's still there. They would be the people's champion. She would be a role model figure, would be somebody that would be very inspiring to people. And she would be, um, let's say that this is your best friend. She would be somebody that would give you the fucking clothes off her back. She would wield her um, her truth and her reasoning with with incredible intellect and rationale. She is somebody that you want on your side. She will fight for you. Um, and having this come up in her strong suit as going for her, this is an, an extremely good thing. Just keep in mind that on her negative, she is somebody that if you betray her trust, that's it for you. Like, she doesn't give second chances. She, well, she thought to say that she doesn't, but she is that type of person where she doesn't need that in her life if she knows that you are betraying her. And she will not, she does not allow that in her life. The Queen of Wands is coming up for somebody that, let me read it in the opposing view, because for the most part, the Queen of Wands is also a good um, indication that her, her, um, her moral standards are very high, that she is an aspiring role model figure, but it, coming out in her posing can mean that she is pushy, bossy, controlling, misusing personal power, or denying her own potential or yours. So, somebody that is a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that would be 
a power position at work, she would definitely have a leadership role, whatever whatever way you want to look at this, whatever way you want to see this, she's somebody that has direct power, she is a leader in some aspect of her life, could be home, motherhood, any type of aspect where she has control over a certain amount of people for what she does for a living, or just in general, or at home. She is somebody that has a lot of power in general, and I feel like is either that I'm reading specifically right now for the people that, um, are trying to choose between if you want this person in your life because she's ex she's exhibiting those types of behaviors is also is could also be that we have this person that is somebody that is more suited for you and this person is not as suited for you but it depends on who's reading this because it could be split down the middle the outcome is that you definitely make a choice you put your um thought in your <laughs> you put your thought you definitely expand in this direction you go and see where this goes with somebody i'm not going to sit here and spoil it or tell you who to choose because i feel like you that is up to you to decide who to choose but it says that early stages of um development see that there will be success in the situation it's kind of a wait and see kind of period but progress has shown you um from the two to the three that you are a lot better off in the three than you were in the two and we have them completely go so it is a continuation it is making a choice and expanding on that choice trust that the choice will be made and now will become a period of waiting and seeing where that goes did you make the right choice we'll find out next month in this episode of what's up virgo <laughs> oh no <laughs> what's up virgo this is uh <laughs> Okay, I'm laughing because I have a Virgo in my life, and I think this is funny. Um, I def For some of you, this is going to be, you definitely made a choice. For some of you, definitely made a choice in how you are seeing. It's the same person. It's one person for some of you, and you are now waiting to see where this goes, and only time will tell. I'm not going to pick other cards because I'm not going to spoil the surprise because <laughs> You get to decide where this goes. Um, make it the best that you can. Peace out, and I'll see you next time. What's up? Bye.